Let's talk about the day you met Mr. Chad Lamont Butler. <laughs> I met him doing the My Homies album. Okay. I did the Two Real record that he was on. Oh, yeah. Oh, f- <laughs> you did Two Real? I did Two Real. So, Ooh. so Ooh. I was in there making the beat to Two Real. And mind you, I'm I'm off the street, so I don't really understand the whole logistics of how to make a track. I just make it the way I make it. Mm. So I started making this track, and I guess I was doing it ass backwards. And I was in there, and Pim was in there, and Face was in there. And I was making this track, and, and Pim looked at Face. He's like, man, what the fuck is this nigga doing? What is he doing, man? This shit, man, what the fuck? He was like, man, what is he doing? Yeah. Face looked at me and said, man, just watch. They just just fall back and watch. About five minutes, the track came together. After the session was over, he, he stepped through. He said, "Man, you're a bad motherfucker." Man. <laughs> <laughs> you just did. You just did a little different than what he was used yeah, to. Yeah. So, what was different about your process that one um, had him looking? I mean, just I just don't do things regular. I'm dyslexic for one. Oh. So you might. I remember I had this conversation with B King before. B King's like, "How you start a beat?" I said, "Sometimes it's, it's drums. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I just play some shit. You know what I mean? It's just I don't know. It's just whatever I feel. That's how I come out." You know what I'm saying? But my process then was I was really raw. Yeah. So I didn't, you know what I mean? I might play a lead and then start playing some shit behind. Mm. And you, you know what I mean? And you just never know what's gonna, how it's going to come out until I'm done. But I was so fast. Yeah. I was making 15, 20 beats a day. Wow. I'm making 10 to 15 now. Yes. Right now. Ooh. Damn. So, you know what I mean? So that, it was just a different, different that's, a, that's a work ethic, bro. Yeah. But Big Chief is the one that gave me that work ethic, though. He wouldn't allow me to gloat. Over my mm-hmm. music and my skill, mm-hmm. he was like, "Man, I, I remember one day I walked out of the studio. I was like, man, I just made a bad motherfucker, man. Come listen to it. No, I ain't gonna listen to it. Make another one. Mm. That's real. So <laughs> he kept telling me shit like that, and I, I, I started to humble to yourself. Anyway. And yeah. you know what? That's real because that happens to um, a lot of artists, which yeah. is why I think a lot of them don't have that follow up. Yeah. After the hype from the yeah. first, come on one, now, yeah. Because somebody done got in their ear and they like, you know what I mean? You need yeah. some kind of people in your life. You gotta have it. Yeah. I think that boy Chad was looking at you because, you know, back then most people used to start off with that. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, what you doing, yeah. man? Real talk. I might <laughs> just play some cards and just start building it. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. it might not sound like nothing because I'm I'm already hearing it in my head done. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Before I do. Wow. That's how everything is. See, that's So what you know I'm what's going to come. I know exactly what's going to come. So you just go find the sounds. That's it. It's like drawing the picture. But I don't really find sounds. I make a, make tracks like I like a band. I'm an organ player, piano. Oh, drums. you just gonna play the sounds. I'm gonna play the same exact sounds every time, but it's gonna mm-hmm. sound different, completely different every time I do it. Oh, that's beautiful. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's beautiful. So, tell me a good memory of Mr. Pimp C. I think one of the best memories I have of him is when he came to my house. Before Pimp came to my house, I, when he first got out of jail, I wanted to get a verse from him. And I had called Mike Moore, and I'm like, yo, man, tell that nigga Pimp I'm working on something. I want to get a verse. And he hit Pimp up, Pimp, and he's like, hey, y'all just hit Pimp up. Pimp said he want $10,000. I'm like, what? 10000 I said, man, I'm not paying no fucking 10000 for that for no verse. I ain't no rapper. Yeah. You know what I mean? And we kind of got stuck right there for a minute, and we was doing this song for, uh, for Slim Thug. And he came to my house to record it. And when he pulled up at my crib, you know what I mean? He seen this big, massive ass house that I had. Yeah. I was right. I used to ride around in the 1992 Acura Integra. <laughs> I was one of those the speed racing niggas mm-hmm. with yeah. the loud pipe on the back. Oh, with a rice burner. Yeah, all of that. You know what I mean? So yeah. people see me riding around town and that, they ain't thinking, oh, this nigga riding around in the, in the Acura. He ain't got no money. He ain't doing this. So he pulled up, he see this big ass house. After he got the recording, he's like, man, I need to talk to you, man. We need to talk to you, man. See what's yeah. going on. What's, I mean, you know, and so we talked, and I started telling him about my process and how I do my business and different shit like that, and we became friends. Pam used to, start, used to call me 2 or 3 o'clock in, in the morning, man. Yeah, we would talk man. all night. What was wrong just with him? What you think was up with that? It was just, man, it, he, <laughs> that he boy was, was, used to he was call creative, people. though, man. He just, he have it on his head. He going to call you about it. He going to talk to you. You know what I'm saying? That, but that was, the best, that was the best conversation I had. With him, you know what I'm saying? Like the day, the the week before he passed away, he called me. Yeah. And we were supposed to go and, and do this album. He wanted me to do an album with him for, for Rap A Lot. Yeah. So he was coming, when he came back, we was supposed to get in the lab and start working. 
You know what I'm saying? That day that they found him was the day he was supposed to be coming back. Mm. It's your girl, Jazzy K with Super Tight TV. We want to thank everyone that's been watching. Hey, if you do us a favor and hit that subscribe button, also press the notification bell so you can be notified every time we drop a new video. No, I'm gonna get some game tuned in with Super Tight. Yeah, I get the low love from Big Bobo from the front seat, not no photos.